Hey everyone, it's Mr. Ray. I just wanted to do a quick video for you here. Uh, show you how to work with linear pairs in a proof. Now this is going to be a screencast. I've never done one of these before, so if it comes out good, then maybe I'll do some more, and otherwise I'll, I won't do any more. So in this proof, it's pretty straightforward. I've got angle EBC congruent to ECB. First thing I want to do is put this into the picture. So I'm going to go over here and find angle ECB. That's EBC, sorry. And I'm going to call that angle 1. And ECB, ECB, I'm going to call angle 2. And they're telling me that those are congruent, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that congruent in the picture. They're asking me to prove that angle ABE, that would be this guy, is congruent to angle DCE, and that would be this guy over here. So it should be pretty clear to you that you have a pair of congruent angles. Each one of those has a supplementary angle, which means this is going to be a supplement of congruent angles proof. So we're going to start off by identifying the linear pairs in this picture. In this proof, we have angle 1 and angle 3, which are linear pairs on the left-hand side of the screen there. And we also have angles 2 and angle 4. So I like to write these in one step, angle 1 and angle 3, angle 2 and angle 4 are linear pairs. And the reason, they remember, there's two things you need to be a linear pair. You have to be adjacent angles. And you've also got to form a straight line. If you don't form a straight line, then you're not a linear pair, you're just adjacent angles. And if you are adjacent angles that form a line, then you are linear pairs. I always abbreviate that LP, short for linear pair in the reason. Once we've established that they are linear pairs, now we can go ahead and say that these angles are in fact supplementary. This is actually the reason that we want linear pairs in the first place. When we're writing a two column proof like this, linear pairs is something we can say directly from the picture, observing that these angles are adjacent and do in fact form a straight line, and that allows me to get to the angles being supplementary. The reason is very simple, it's just that linear pairs are supplementary. This is another theorem that we've talked about, and actually I don't think we've proved yet, but it's very simple to prove. In step three, I'm gonna bring this given in here that EBC, my angle 1, is congruent to ECB, my angle 2. So simply angle 1 congruent to angle 2, and that is given. And this is where that theorem that supplements of congruent angles are congruent comes into play. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here just so we can see a little bit better. If you take a look at what I've got so far, I have angle 1 and 2 congruent. So this guy is congruent to this guy. But I also know that angle 1 and 2 are pairs of angles that both have supplements. Right? 1 is supplementary to 3 and 2 is supplementary to 4. So that means that I can say that angle 3 is congruent to angle 4, and the reason I can say this is because the supplements of congruent angles are congruent. And at that point I've finished the proof. I'll put a little proof box down there and maybe just extend that line a bit. So that's all there is to it. When you're working with linear pairs it's very simple. You're going to look for a pair of angles that are congruent, if those two angles both have a pair of supplements, right, so 1 and 3 are supplementary here, 2 and 4 are supplementary over here, then we can use this supplements of congruent angles are congruent. And that allows us to skip a lot of the work and not have to do the subtraction, but just go from proving the angles of linear pairs to supplements, and then directly to the supplements of the congruent angles are congruent. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, see you in class.